the operation regulation and precaution of truck pump. The Zoomline truck pump adopts the advanced technology is of reliable quality. The advanced technology and excellent functions can be guaranteed only if the work condition and safe operation are suitable. What should be paid attention to regarding to safety operation and precaution? First, the safety operation precautions of truck pump. First, truck pump should be placed horizontally. The ground should be flat and solid. The ground can't sink during work. Second, truck pump is forbidden to work under the dangerous conditions like slope, high voltage, inflammables, and explosives, etc. Second, the introduction of electrical controls and components. Knowing the functions of all control panels and electrical components before operating truck pump ensure the operation is correct. First, driving and pumping switch channel. This control panel, which is located in the cab, is primarily used to change the chassis power. The PTO switch is used to activate PTO function of the chassis, an indicator in the switch to show the current work status. Second, the control panel of main electrical cabinet. Human machine interface, HMI, support mode selection switch and confirmation button, panel remote control switch, lighting switch, emergency stop button. Third, the control panel of auxiliary electrical cabinet. The control panel includes pumping control switch, displacement switch, main cylinder inching switch, piston fast change switch, high low pressure switch, engine accelerator switch, distribution inching switch, distribution pressure gauge display switch, emergency stop switch, etc. Fourth, control panel of operation box. The control panel includes forward and reverse mixing switch, lubrication mode switch, cooling switch, and cleaning switch. Hopper light switch, horn switch, emergency stop. Fifth, L trigger button box. There is a boom manual control button next to the manual control handle. It powers the unloading valve and both boom manual operation. Sixth, the operation panel of remote control transmitter. The remote control system of the truck pump is mainly composed of transmitter and receiver, which is used to control the truck pump operation. The remote control transmitter primarily includes display, slew and boom control handle, forward and reverse pumping button, distribution inching button, fast slow gear mode button, boom buffer function, displacement switch, acceleration and deceleration button, horn, engine off button, antenna and other components. Third, safety operation procedures and precautions. First, no standing under the boom of truck pump. Second, make sure the concrete in the hopper is above mixing shaft when pumping. Third, system pressure shall be released before inspecting the machine. Fourth, driving and pumping switch. Bins chassis driving and pumping switch. Firstly, ensure the engine is powered off, handbrake is in parking position, gear is in neutral position. Secondly, start the engine, press the pump button and the pump light is on. Thirdly, step the clutch and select the working gear, seventh high gear. Finally, press the PTO button, then the PTO light is on, and the machine is in pump mode. Fifth, now trigger operation methods and precautions. Now trigger operation methods. First, turn the remote panel control switch on the electrical control cabinet to the panel control position. Second, open the mechanical lock of all out triggers. Third, press and hold the green button switch and operate the control handle to open the corresponding out trigger. Fourth, extend the out trigger to the maximum position. Fifth, According to the ground conditions, put suitable path, open the two front out triggers and extend the vertical cylinder until the front tire is above the ground. Then open the two rear out triggers, extend the vertical cylinder until the rear tire is above the ground. The gap is around 50 millimeters. Sixth, 
Adjust front and rear outriggers to make the whole machine in horizontal position. The maximum allowable inclination is 3 degrees. 7. Confirm all the control handles of each outrigger has returned to the neutral position. Notices for outrigger operation. First, after confirm nobody is in the working area of the outrigger, then operate the outrigger. Second, booms must retract back to the boom support before operating the outrigger. Third, the outrigger is about to reach a limited place. Reduce the opening of the operating lever. So the outrigger gently stops on the limitation. Avoid touch impact. Finally, make sure that each control lever of outrigger has returned to the new station.